round. Okay, let's let's keep it in perspective. Like you oh guys said, God. it's the first round. But again, he's look at this. Now we're gonna take a look at the weaknesses. I know you guys wanted to get to this, so here is my problem with his offense. No creativity. I know this is just the first round, but look at this. Just like Call K, he too overreaches. Look at his legs here. Yep. He actually crosses his legs, becomes a righty, and he's off balance right there. And he's slapping too. It's not gonna cut it against Canelo. Canelo has great defense. Remember how he was making Austin Trout miss? How he was making Ko uh, Kovalev miss? Koto miss? I mean, this type of stuff here, two slaps, it's not gonna cut it. Makes me, it makes me think that maybe he questions his chin because that's his best punch, like an overhand uh, left, mm -hmm. uh, left hook. So if he, he's got the, he's got the, the, the length to already like be outside, coke his wheelhouse to where he, he's got the advantage, he can land it without having to overshoot it. Why not just take that risk? But he's mm -hmm. deciding to come from way outside and come in flying. So that tells me, you know, he's not comfortable throwing it in with the, when he's already got a safe distance to do it without having to lunge in. Mm -hmm. Very good point. That's the difference between a champion and a contender. And he did this in the Sulensky fight too, a lot, a lot. So it's not just. It's I call not that one right there a sequence of a waste of time, right? Like this is what I mean. <laughs> no, I, I, what I mean by that is he's trying to find he's trying to find out what you know how he can catch um coke right so mm -hmm. this is in the first round he's trying to figure out how to catch him right look how he throws all right so he's a lefty look how he throws his overhand left he throws it in a like this hooking motion one time then he's gonna try it again when he sees the guy backing up why would you why would you waste your time well because he's fully committed at the same time and nothing's gonna he happen want to get countered Right. He doesn't want to get he counted just, either, right? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to get counted when he should have not even... That's why I say a waste of time. He should have not even put himself in that position. Waste of time exactly. and energy. Right. And energy. Here's so another... He's I know what in. he's trying to do. He's trying to see if there's rhythm. How? What's, so, what's the range to catch him? You know? Right. Um, mm -hmm. But once you did the, the first one, because he already committed to do that. Once you did the first one, there's no need. And, and you saw that, the, that nothing happened. There's no need to do it again, right? So he did. Yeah, that's the problem. That's that's the problem when you lunge in without throwing a jab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you overshoot, you're gonna get caught with the counter shot. He wants to see if he can catch him with, without yeah. the jab. If he can catch him with and that he's, shot. And he's uh he's overcorrecting with that second punch to not be in it's in within the Koki's uh opportunity zone to counter him because he's. And it doesn't make him terrible. Him. It doesn't make him terrible because a lot of guys do that, especially in the beginning. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that those little mistakes will add up as the fight goes along. And when you're doing it against an elite fighter, you know, I don't know, think he's got the balls to do that. You said he doesn't have the balls he, to do it? He would do that against Canelo. No, he'll get countered like Amir Khan. Well, he may not do that, but he'll do something else that's like, like a waste of time. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he true. probably might not be that ballsy to do, it, do that against exactly. Canelo. Here's another clip, because again, he did it against Sulensky all night long. Here again, this this is still the first round. Okay, let's let's keep it in perspective. Like you oh guys said, God. it's the first round. But again, he's look at this. It's like Wilder stuff. Yeah. That's I a good call point. These all waste of time punches right here. And and also it's a waste of energy. That's why he yeah. gets tired. A lot of motion. Mm, yeah. Starting off the second round the same way. See, he likes that. He likes doing that shit. You see that? That that <laughs> that throwing without the jab and then hooking twice with the with his left is that's that's something that comes natural to him. Those are waste of energy uh tactics for me. Here he tries to straighten it up a little bit, but even then he called K good footwork, keeping him turning there. A little unconventional because he's got his chin up in the air, but uh again made him miss. Here's another clip of Kolk, uh, Andrade missing. Wait a minute, is that the same clip? Yeah, okay, hold on. Look at that left hand. Well, I, there he now he's adding a little bit more pepper to his shots. But again, I don't like that slapping hand, man. Look at that. Chin up in the air. Canelo, who has the wherewithal to stand in front of you and counter you, 
Can you imagine? I, I can just see Canelo just standing in front of him and catching him with a counter left hook there. Look at this. Then again, it's quick, so it's it's hard to do. Colke can't do it because he's on the defensive, but a guy like Canelo, who's always uh, cognizant of what's coming forward and always looking to counter, there, okay, there he's trained those shots a little bit more, but still. Colke is, hey, listen, Colke is a good, good fighter, though. He's sneaky, too. He's got good defense, so... I don't want to be too harsh on Andrade, but like like I reckon I said, we're putting this in the perspective of he's going to be fighting Canelo. People want him to fight Canelo. This type of stuff, it's going gonna, gonna to have to be corrected. He's Look at it here, man. Look at his right hand. Yeah. He's dropping, he's, he's doing a Calzaghi here, except without the yeah. the knowledge and the chin that Calzaghi has. Now picture that Canelo, right? Look, Canelo would, okay, see, so he's, he's throwing it with his left. Canelo will put his high guard, his right up. And I just think there'll be punches coming back instead of like Cole Case just backing up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? There'll be punches coming back on the inside because he's going to say, look, I'm going to stay on this guy's because he's got long arms. I'm going to stay on the inside. And and he gets leverage from standing on the inside. I've seen I've seen um, Canelo block a shot and come with offense right on top mm -hmm. of that. So he's going to do that against... He's, if I could see it, trust me, he's saying to himself, ah, okay, I know what I'm going to do. There's, he's wide open in the middle for, yeah. for the straight punches. Yeah, look right. at that. So, so Canelo would just step in instead of what Colke's doing. He'll step in mm -hmm. um, and just and just have his overhand, uh, his overhand, his right, and use it as a, as a guard while stepping in, right? And he'll shoot up his he'll probably twist he'll probably hook with his left right at, at, when he blocks it hook on his left on the inside and let off his his over uh his overhand right or or hook to the body mm -hmm. or maybe even an uppercut yeah. like he did with um or maybe an uppercut right maybe. remember like he maybe did against way. kirkland yeah and by the way what's up with the old lady and there hold on what's up with the old lady up there she's got her both her hands on her face you see that guys Right on the yeah. upper frame. What the <laughs> fuck's up with mom. Mom. Is that yeah. Koki's mom? Yeah. Maybe maybe it's his, right. it's his wife. His wife. <laughs> Imagine if it's his wife. <laughs> you <laughs> fucked my tits. You fucked my tits. Oh, that's that's our Jody's. That's our Jody's sugar mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, like you said, sorry, just real quick, like you said at the beginning of the, yeah. of, of the of when we were watching Andrade, you said he doesn't come in with a jab. Look at this. This is the third round now. He yeah, still has to yeah. be sitting. I've been trying to watch for a jab, no jabs, PDA, and uh, no jabs for a boxer, no jabs. And I have to give maybe like credit to, well, not credit, because Koki's only using that Abraham uh, high guard, and he's not leaving him any space in the middle for uh, Andrade to throw straight punches. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, that's all he's doing. Uh, Koki's using that high guard, and there's no, there's no, they're, they're both showing like one dimension. One guy's blocking, and the other guy's throwing them them, them looping shots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's got more. Isn't it worrisome how? Look at this. He flicks the jab, a little faint, and then he completely telegraphs the left. He's getting away with this because he's so quick right now. But I guess the guy. I mean, I don't, look at this. Chin up in the air, overreaching. We'll slap there. Both hands down. I mean, this is a recipe for disaster right here, guys. Yeah, he's trying to time him with that. It's kind of like a, a lazy left. Where, where he, I mean, he's got speed behind it, but what I'm trying to say, he kind of don't know if it's going up or down, but since he's so long, he still can catch uh, Koke and wrap mm -hmm. his hand ra right around uh, his glove to the side of his face. A little bit, yeah. While using timing. Because it's, it's not landing like he doesn't know exactly when it's going to land. When it's, it's coming around. All right. This is about the seventh clip or sixth or seventh clip where we see him doing the same thing, the same slap. Here's another slap. Again, he did this against Ulensky too a lot, missing a lot. This time he cuffs uh, Kolke a little bit there, but even then it's not a clean shot. And look at this. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, he slaps, boom, steps around, tries to get a couple of shots in there. He's wide open there for a right hand. He's lucky Kolke didn't catch him with it. Because again, it was a bit of a slapping. And then he catches yep. Kolke with a jab there. But I mean, still, it's bad positioning, right? The college hands are always down, man. You know, it, he's good because he's an elusive guy. But as the fight goes along, you start to slow down. But that's not going to do it, man. 
you know, Canelo conserves energy and while conserving his power. Um, there is some slowdown in him, but I think he's he, he he's he's looking for new ways to still be more effective and and, and without um giving out a lot of energy throughout the, the fight. Here we're gonna talk about some of the again, Kolke is not a big puncher, but you can tell here he gets close enough to do that. Go he flurries upstairs, upstairs, catches Andrade. You know, now Andrade is stuck in the mud. He can't just keep you know walking back. Look at his foot, by the way. Why is he putting his right foot up there? Like he's trying to step on Kolke, I think. I don't know. That's the way it seems to me. And then Kolke just goes right hand, left foot right hand now both those last two shots as you can tell the right the left hook is a little harder to tell but i think it actually got behind the elbow and the right hand as well but see he's he's hitting with the palm a little bit like recognize said he's nowhere near the body puncher that canelo is now imagine canelo getting himself in position to do this i mean this guy was he had lara running from those body shots and and he had golovkin weary of them too so has andrade ever fought somebody who can punch the body like uh Canelo has? I don't think so. Here's another no. clip. In this clip, now you see Colke coming forward with his guard up, a little bit like Canelo would do. So he, here you see Andrade throws three shots, nothing too big, and immediately Colke, who see how Colke dipped down a little bit there, let him throw his punches. Nice short right hand, really drives uh, uh, Andrade back. Left foot behind the guard followed by a right hand that sets him up. Because, again, it's very smart. I don't know if, if Kolke did this. And he's because, landing. He's landing. Look boom, at that. Boom. I, I don't know if... Because it's smart. Look, look, look at what he did. He dipped down. Once he caught the third shot, nice little short right, pushed him back, pushed his chain back, a little right hand to keep him in place, left foot behind the guard. And as soon as he landed the left foot, he knew... And I think he knew Andrade was going to counter with a right, a right hook. So he immediately... He didn't stop with the second punch. He continued with the third shot. Boom, this is, I mean, this, I can just see Canelo doing that, just walking him down with that high guard and set him up with shots like that. Because Canelo's a great thinker on the inside. Look at that. Koki's looking like Jake LaMara in the clip. <laughs> yeah, that's <it. laughs> Yeah, he did like for, for a moment there in that little sequence. That's a little taste of what Canelo can bring. Yeah, yeah. I see Canelo making him fight, getting a lot of those sequence and mm -hmm. and just breaking them down. Here it's it's a, it's a nice just a right hand. <laughs> like see, he's dipping down, dipping down. Head oh, now, the, the, let's not forget the head movement that Canelo does to hypnotize his opponents nowadays. He just hypnotizes them, hypnotizes them like like uh, Kolke is doing here, changing levels. Andrade slapping, 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 hands down, boom. Right hand. Yeah, that, that's when when they mentioned that you know his feet are not really he's not really that fleet footed with the waist movement it compensates because it's like you're dancing in position you're moving mm -hmm. you're not moving your legs but you're moving your upper body to where you're actually like moving exactly yeah it's it's very good head movement because like I said the hypnotist and he was doing that to Jacobs I mean that people don't give him enough credit for the Jacobs win because Jacobs is not a guy that you play with and Canelo was 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 imposing his rhythm in the fight there very impressive so the weaknesses is we saw he gets clipped stamina wise once he got pressed against a sneaky opponent he he, he lost a lot of stamina and he was forced to exchange the because he didn't know if he was ahead or not I, I'm, I'm thinking he assumed he was ahead but that he still had to dig down and exchange so we saw that in the exchanges he's not that great he's not used to exchanges he's not used to coming forward essentially he slaps with his shots and he leaves himself way open so that's one big mistake that we saw also from him. And in terms of slapping, it's not that bad if, like recognize said, if you control the pace and you slap, 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 and then make the guy miss and keep him turning, keep him moving. All right, then you can do that. I guess Canelo, though, he's just as good, if not a better boxer than Andrade, just because he doesn't fight with his hands down and doesn't move around as much as, as Andrade. It doesn't mean he's, he's, he's the lesser boxer. He's got the better fundamentals, better timing, I guess, better opposition. So, what happens if Andrade starts getting out box is the main question. Can he come forward? Can he outwork Canelo? Mm -hmm. Can he knock him out? And Bucho, I think that the answer is no <laughs> for all those three points, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. does he really want to fight on the inside? We just saw that, you know, he's okay, but he was getting hit by a guy like Kolke. 
right? And I guess Canelo is going to be a completely different, even against Golovkin or even Jacobs. His inside game is not the greatest, man. So he's going to have to fight from the outside. And what, would, what do we see from him when he tries to cut the distance? He, he's lounging in. Um, he, he doesn't, doesn't really set up his punches if you think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't really see him beating any of these guys, <laughs> to be honest. No, I don't he really much either. against Charlo. Maybe. Yeah, maybe if Charlo. Charlo. Him out. If that, that's if Charlo doesn't catch him with something. He belongs as a contender there in the middleweight division. But the qu big question was here, we we're trying to answer, does he deserve a shot at, at Can uh, Canelo does, or does Charlo deserve it? And that's what we're going to take a look at in the next um, sequence of this of this series. We're going to analyze Charlo's win, a very close win rather, tumultuous fight against Kovarov, another southpaw with a lot of movement and a great left hand. And so we're going to see if Charlo did better than Andrade did against one of his toughest opponents. But guys, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Recognize Bucho, Gonzalo. No problem. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Right. So thank you for joining us, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We are the, the best. Like button. That's right. You're the best. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to BDA, our main channel. And let us know what you guys thought about this in the in the, in the the comment section. Did you, what did we get right? What did we get wrong? Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one, folks. All right? I just hit my fist there. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>